How's it going, YouTube? Right in front of me, this is the Shure SM7B, and this is a legendary vocal microphone, as it is really legendary. Every podcaster uses it, there's a lot of professionals using it, and I ended up biting the bullet and taking that $400 plunge. I like to keep my boxes, so I don't really destroy stuff. Now, you can buy this like at Guitar Center, you can order online. I bought this off Amazon, and I've had this for about three weeks, but I'm finally getting to it now. We're gonna get some stickers. And then we have the user guide. There's a lot of videos out there that will teach you what all the microphone settings can be, just like Podcastage. I love his channel. He's all about microphones. Go check him out. He's part of the reason why I picked this microphone. And here we are. Ooh, nice and heavy for sure. It's heavy in the hand. We got a back plate here to cover the back. So you don't need to use this, but if you are really close and you're getting those you know, minimize that a lot more. Now we do have a little adapter here. We can use this ring to make it smaller. Oh, whoa, cold and heavy. Nothing about this feels cheap. This will make the most expensive microphone I've ever had. And looking at the back of it, we can see we have different dials we can tune into. Again, Podcast Edge will teach you all that kind of fancy stuff of what they do, what they mean, how to level it, dial into tripods, and there's the XLR microphone hookup. Now these top things you could adjust to be tighter, but it's a very smooth transition. Like you can feel that it's smooth when you're moving up and down. And of course it's attached to the base, so this is how it has to be used. Maybe you want to switch this around, you can, so you can see the name, or you don't want to see the name in the back. So since I unboxed this and gave you my first impressions, like this thing, is solid and it's heavy and it feels like quality. $400, it better feel this way, but you're gonna get that amazing audio recording performance behind it. Now, I am gonna have to do a combination of other products to go with this to make it work, and I'm gonna get the second thing out right now. Okay, and here is another iconic microphone boom arm, which is a PSA One Studio arm. Again, I try to take everything out as neatly as possible. Always keep all my boxes. Pull the contents out. Caution, spring loaded. So here's the mounting. So this thing is the desk insert. So what this will do is if you already have a flat table or in a hole, you can use this to stick it into the hole and this will be your prop instead of having to use a clamp. Now the reason why I picked this one up is because you can toss the microphone up, around, up and down and it stays where it needs to be. Undo it. So the spring is right inside here. You don't have to see all those other kinds that, you know, the springs are outside. And then moving up from the top, you see more cable ties that you can tuck right in that little crevice. Here's all the connection. So in this case, I'll just bring this out. And will this fit straight to this? No, it will not. So that's where this will come in. I'm just going to screw this right onto there. Now the hole is smaller and we can screw this on. So here we go, this is what it looks like now. And you can see how it stretches and how it moves. It should stay in position once you have it propped up, but I can't really show you in the angle that I'm in right now. And the last part that I need to complete my podcast setup, and here we are. This is the Rodecaster Pro. It is a $600 microphone mixer audio processing on board it's a podcast production console where you can take this on the go you don't need a computer to use this but you can connect to your computer of course but this is something as an interface for mixing lots of different microphones iphone and android connections and you got a soundboard and you can control the volume and you get the digital display now i would advise watching people's videos who know how to use this i'm just going to unbox and show you what i have and what kind of setup i'm using for my podcast that i'll be in the future working on now I've had this for over two months. I've been waiting to, you know, have a better setup, waiting to fix my other projects. But since I unbox everything, I'm just recording it all. I'm showing you my experience. This is a big paperwork information. Get the latest version. Here's more and more diagrams in the back to teach you stuff. They're almost like laminate. It's cardboard, but laminate. So you can keep these as notes. What else is in here? I mean, I was super excited when I purchased this. Everywhere else I wanted to get this, it was sold out, but Walmart had it. This thing looks clean and official. These are metal on top of them. They slide pretty smoothly. They're not super quiet. These touch pads are a lot quieter. Got some dials. Ooh, you can feel the teeth on every notch. And on the top we have a lock, power on and off. 
Here's the power adapter where we go. USB-C micro SD card, left and right channels. And there's a microphone hookup so we can listen to ourselves. And then there's also a phone hookup so you can, you know, record prank calls or use phone calls and uh, as in interviews over the phones and record it. Wired, there is wireless Bluetooth. And then you got the XLR for different inputs. On the bottom, we have some rubber feet. I can feel that. The bottom is pretty plasticky. And in the front, we have a headphone jack plug-in. It's something that I can literally use without a computer. I can take this on the go and still run a whole podcast just using this without a computer. Finishing off, what else we get? We get the power cable. Oh, and look at this. They actually give you a micro SD card, 32 gigabyte. Let's see what is in here. USB-C to USB. And there's the power cable with little cards. That way you know which programs you have. Because obviously if you're doing multiple podcasts or different segments, you can have these to be tuned differently. You know which ones to say instead of writing stuff on here. You write it on here with a dry erase. And then we go right into the mixer. What's really cool is that I have a portable charger that I also reviewed. And I can take this anywhere i could be in the middle of a forest and still run a podcast with no electricity because i have electricity stored in this portable charger it has like sixty thousand. plug it right into there it also has a little lock so if we have a different cable that'll screw it in so it doesn't pull out on accident and we'll power it up here in just a little bit so this is a little protective screen here i think that was supposed to tell us that there's a protector screen on this and with the touch of the power button back here roadcaster pro so it didn't click it just pushed in and i wasn't sure if it was on or not but my portable charger is powering this up just fine i'm not going to go through the whole entire you know setup there's other videos who are literally dedicated and showing you all the best features and everything for it but i'm just giving you my overall first experience okay this is with minimal lights everything is visible just by in the darkness so what's nice about it you don't need a dial you can touch the screen but even at this angle it does not distort it looks like I, I mean I can see just fine this video is basically just getting your attention to if you want to get up into a podcast or maybe you want to record different kind of instruments because you're a band and you want to record stuff it depends on what you want to do this is just an idea of what you can get into very easy to reach I like it I, for someone who's never done it I feel this is gonna be pretty easy so yeah now all I have to do is is play with the settings. As you can see, as I'm talking, we have the audio from the microphone going up and down. Now I can adjust it with some of these controllers here. So anyways, if I put my mouth almost right on it, I'm like bouncing this and it's not even making a sound as I'm bouncing it. Now, if you're one of those people who move the mics, you bring it over here, you bring it back into place, See, this is the sound that we're going to get from it. It does make certain sounds at certain angles, but not all of them. But you're not going to be moving it around like that unless you are. I mean, toss it over and then bring it back. As you can see, I like that it moves around, but it does creak in a certain position. Let's see if I can get it to do it. It does creak at certain areas and it does click and clack somewhere. This is the angle. This is the sound we're getting out of the microphone straight from the unit. You can adjust your sounds. You can boost the audio. You can do a lot of different things on here on your computer to process and edit stuff with your audio interface, software, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just doing it straight out of the Procaster here. So if you like it, you basically have to just plug and play and press record and you don't need a computer software. As you can see, the microphone is like right next to my mouth. So this is the way I can do podcasting and still look at my monitor as my monitor is right in front of me. So let's open up tech. Now, I can't hear anything until I bring this volume up. 14 or 15 when it happened, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it was 86. So I was it's April 86. Yeah. 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 So I was 15 and I remember it. Look at that. Look at his microphone. You know, I didn't have any sense of how true. So he's also using the microphone. It's known that these microphones sound really good. I can connect Bluetooth, connect my cell phone straight to it. And then you got the soundboard here. So if I click on, you got some laughter. You got the womps. You got that. And you can turn it up. And even if you don't plug it into the computer, you can still use the customization to make recordings like. Like I have this fart noise. So obviously here, if I put the microphone a little bit distant from me, but I can boost it 
up in here. And now it sounds like this at this angle. There is more noise now, but at least it can hear me from this far. I don't have to be all up in the microphone, but you can see how that sounds from this close. But that's pretty much the quick first impressions and sample that I can give you straight out of this. If you wanted to build a podcast, you can just do it straight like this. It is an expensive setup. It's not the cheapest. I'm not claiming that, but this is a setup that actually works. And I'm going to do more intensive stuff showing you what I can do. And pretty much if you guys leave me comments and ask questions, I can address them into the next video. But there you guys have it. This is the sound that you're going to get from it. Um, you can even improve it. That's just me going plug and play and just, you know, starting it off. This is not perfecting anything, but that is what I'm going to get. So here I'm going to pretty much end it. I'm going to press this record here. And it turned green. Now the audio we're getting is from my camera. It's the microphone that I always use on all my videos. So obviously I have different takes for different kind of recording situations. I think it's cool. I'm excited, super excited to start this podcast very, very soon. It's people who don't want to watch, but have time to listen because they're working, can't use their eyes, but you can use your ears while working. That's the beauty of podcasts. But if you guys like this setup, you already know what to do. All the links are in the description down below to these products and more what you see in the background here in this room. I do have a room tour video coming up. Obviously, it's a little bit different here in the background. I updated and spent a lot more money to make this cleaner and nicer and bigger. So I'm excited to showcase that here on my birthday around June 11th. I'm still talking to this mic like if I am talking to it, but I'm just talking into this microphone. The Video Mic Pro. This is also a Rode microphone, but June 11th, I'll be 33 years old. I'm pretty old, I know. It'll be room tour version 4.0. But yeah, there you have it. You already know what to do if you want for yourself. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later. And this is... Oh, 